Well, good morning, guys. Today we're going out on a lake for a little bit of a duck hunt. The season's kind of coming to an end, and this morning I'm going to take the old final quack out and see what we can do. Um, just a little over a dozen decoys, so I got a dozen of my flock Ted live mallards, my pulsator, and my motion ducks, and six Canada goose floaters. So, pretty small spread here for this lake. Um, we're gonna head to a spot where I've had success throughout the year and give it a go. My main goal here today is just to take the boat out, enjoy it, hopefully shoot a couple of birds, but just kind of soak everything in before the season's over. Um, I know I'm gonna miss this when it's gone. I, I usually get to the point this time of year where I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm burnt out, I am done, I'm done duck hunting. But for some reason, I've kind of got a second wind. We're ready to finish it out strong, so. I'm gonna head on down and uh, see if we can get this boat running across the water and set up. Well, I got everything set up here. Um, I'm gonna just kind of post up here along the bank with the boat and I might grab some sticks and try and brush it in a little bit better, but we got the decoys out here. I kind of spread them out just kind of like in a hodgepodge manner. I tried to focus on uh, putting hens next to the drakes because this time of year they're pretty much all paired up. So that's what we're doing there. I got my six geese hanging out over there you guys can see this is kind of cool so i got my six geese and just kind of threw my ducks out over here into this little hole um i drove the boat in here i knocked off some ice chunks right in here so i was trying to fight those off but um yeah uh motion ducks right there in the middle we're gonna be pulling that thing getting some lifelike movement into those decoys the wind seems to be doing an okay job moving them but i think we're gonna do that and then i also got my pulsator that i'll probably put out right over here um, I'm not really kind of giving them any particular place to land. I'm just kind of giving them a bunch of different options and just making it look like a lively group of ducks on the water. So we'll give that a go. Hopefully the hide's good. Hopefully we see some birds flying, but it doesn't matter, man. Got to get out here while you can. I've had pretty decent luck in this little spot, so we'll give it a go and hopefully we can shoot one or two. Well, guys, this hunt sucked. Didn't even see a bird, but uh, I'm getting things picked up. But I want to show you guys this motion ducks decoy spreader. If you haven't seen it before, it's pretty sweet. So I've got it on a uh, coated cable rig here, a really long one. I like this because it's really easy to grab onto. It doesn't cut into your hands, and uh, it's a lot easier to see when you're uh, out in the water and stuff, so you don't get tangled up in it as easily. But basically, it's a jerk rig on steroids. It moves all four of them at the same time and uh it gives you some phenomenal motion so if you guys are looking for a really good decoy uh motion option i highly recommend this thing it's worked a number for me this season after using it um it just it's really cool it looks like ducks moving around like they're uh, dabbling in the water doing their deal but yeah, you can rig this thing up with another one and uh, run seven decoys on it so you can get a bunch of decoys moving. I know some guys like to only run this in the water for their decoy spread, so only like seven decoys out there, but they're all moving, and that can make a huge difference on a uh, stale day. So here's my little tip for you. If you've got one of these, get yourself some coated cable and make that into the puller on it because that's going to make a big difference with getting tangled and things like that. I mean, this has been a phenomenal tool for me this season. So let's get things packed up. I want to show you guys kind of how I loaded this up today. It's a little different than I have in the past since I'm using a 12 slot bag and uh, six honker floaters and the motion ducks. Um, so I've gotten a lot of questions from people asking about this boat and how I use it and how I like it and things like that. I will do an end of the season recap on this thing. So stay tuned for that. But uh, let's get this thing loaded up and show you guys some stuff about it. All right, so here's kind of how I like to do this. Um, when I hunt, I take the motor off the boat and stash it somewhere else. If you guys look down here, you can see these wheels on this boat. I get a lot of questions about how this runs shallow and does it and how's it do. Um, you can see here, it just digs itself down into the mud and makes it incredibly difficult to move. So. These are removable. I just haven't taken them off because I kind of like them for getting in and out of the garage and into the truck. So it's just kind of the price I'm willing to pay 
for that convenience of getting it loaded into the garage and, and into the truck and all that stuff. So, you know, it's kind of like a double-edged knife. You want one thing, but it kind of hurts you on the other side. So, um, I need to get this motor on. The motor mount on this thing is really quick and easy. This motor I have is the PPF Wood Duck, and it's like 65 pounds, so it's really easy to take off and on and move around. So uh, check this out. Just as simple as that. Um, Got to pop this backrest out. Got a pin in there that holds it down. If you get this backrest for this boat, you need the pins, otherwise, backrest is just gonna slide around and it's not gonna do very good. I found that out the first time I used this boat. Now we're gonna put the motion ducts in here. I just slide that motion ducts back in here out of the way, try and manipulate these decoys up and under that lip and you can kind of see how they're getting tucked back up in there. And move that off to the side so that there's a really big cavity underneath this whole thing so you can fill that up uh, when you're going to your spot. If you guys are trying to uh, look for like a kayak style layout boat kind of deal and you're not wanting a motor, this is not the one you want. Just kind of gonna do the same deal here. I'm gonna slide these guys in here so then they're just nice and cozy. got to remember to uh, leave some room for your feet when you are loading this thing down. Oh, I'm going to put my gun in real quick. I always like to slide my gun in the side here. So it's up and out of the way. So we got two more Hawk of Decoys. I wrap the keels and use these little ties on there so that it uh, doesn't get tangled up in the bottom of the boat. So there's that. That works pretty good. As you guys can't see, I've got my uh, backrest just laying flat down in there. We're just gonna toss this bad boy right here on the front. And that should do it. Uh, when I drive this thing around, I pull the cover up and inside like that. And then I take my seat that I made just kind of had some old wood laying around and made it to where it'll sit on the edges like that. And that holds the cover down. And if you guys have been following the journey with this boat, that has solved the issue with the cover floating behind me in the water. Got my life jacket here. I got my coat. And then dry bag. And that's my dry bag. That's where I put all my camera gear. And I basically, make it my blind bag for this thing so that's how I like to pack it out and in you guys can tell probably at this point that this is pretty much loaded to capacity um, if I'm hunting out of this thing with duck floaters I can usually get two dozen to maybe two and a half dozen in this boat um, it's just tight and I really like my last pass mallards because they're small so I can fit a lot more of them in this boat um, they usually sit up front and then in the past I've done a sled behind and just toted everything with me so it gets the job done and uh, stay tuned because I'm going to be making a video kind of comparing this and the kayak and the pros and cons I'll be doing that here in the off season but um, that's the rig that's how I like to pack it out it's time to get home uh, the hunting was really not very good today always make sure to wear your life jacket it saves lives it's easy to do. There you go. Don't drown. Duck hunting's not worth it. So, wear your life jacket.